Hey hey, welcome back to Free Soccer Tips. So today I'll be showing you how you can fix the Valorant error code negative 6 or van 6 error on Valorant. So without further ado, let's get started. So this error is mainly associated with a network or internet connection issue. So in order to fix this, we need to make sure that our firewall is not blocking the game. So go ahead and open up your start menu and look for Windows Firewall. Go ahead and click on the Windows Defender Firewall right here and click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on this change settings button right here if it is enabled on your end and click on the allow another app. Before we browse the path, we need to know where is our game installed. So simply go ahead and go back to the start menu and look for Valorant. Right click your Valorant app and click on the open file location. It will show you another shortcut file so we need to right click on it and click on the open file location once more. We need to copy this directory path right here and then we can now go ahead and close this window. Next, go ahead and click on the browse button and paste that address that which we have just copied a while ago on the address bar. Hit the enter button and click on the right client services.exe, hit the open button and hit the add button. If you experience this kind of error, simply ignore it since it's already on the list. So simply hit the OK button and cancel this window and then locate that right client service. It will show you up the right client service. We need to make sure that it is enabled on both the private and public networks so they must be both checked. So go ahead and go back again to allow another app since we're going to still add two more executables. So go ahead and click on the browse button and we are still on the same path which we have just copied a while ago. Go back one directory backwards by clicking on this right games or click on this button right here. And you'll be shown with these two folders right here. Simply open up the Valorant folder. Go to live and then you'll be able to see the Valorant.exe application. Hit the open button and click on again the add button. And once again, if you see this kind of error, simply ignore it since it's already on the list. So go ahead and look for that bootstrap package game and make sure that it is enabled in both the private and public networks. And lastly, hit the allow another app again and click on the browse button and then go to the shooter game. Click on binaries, win64, and then you'll be shown with the Valorant win64 shipping.exe. Simply open that one and add it on the list. Again, if you see this kind of error, it's basically on the list. So simply hit the OK button and cancel this one. Locate for the Valorant executable app and make sure that it is enabled both on the private and public networks. Once then, hit the OK button and now go ahead and close this windows and even the Valorant launcher itself. You need to make sure that it is closed first and then reopen the Valorant launcher and see if that would fix your problem. However, if that would still fix your problem, then you have uh, the last option, which is either to change your ISP or temporarily you can connect using a VPN. So go ahead and download and install this Proton VPN. I'll just put this link on the description. You need to sign up on it and you could get a free trial of the premium version. However, after a few days, you will be downgraded to the free version, which you will only be limited to quite a few of the free servers. However, if you have a money or a budget, you could go ahead and upgrade for the premium version, which allows you to connect to different servers and you'll be able to choose which server is closest to your location in order for you to be able to play the game. Or you could also change your internet service provider if the VPN method would fix your problem. So in order to check if that would fix your problem, simply click this quick connect button right here and it will try to find the nearest location or the best location server that is closest to your geographical location. It is important to have a close server VPN, especially if you're connecting and playing because it will reduce the latency while you are in game. Once you are already connected on the VPN network, you can now go ahead and minimize this one and then reconnect on the game. And hopefully that would fix your problem. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And also like this video for more helpful tips. Till then, see you again in my next videos.